Hello all, welcome to part five of Kubernetes Made Easy tutorial. In this session, I'm going to explain one of the features of Kubernetes that is load balancing. So let's get started. How can Kubernetes perform load balancing? To answer this question, let me show you this image. As shown in this image, Kubernetes doesn't directly interact with these containers. Rather, one or more containers are wrapped by Kubernetes into something known as a pod. And thereafter, Kubernetes allocates one single storage volume for each and every pod like this. And then Kubernetes logically groups multiple set of pods which perform same set of functions as a service. Then Kubernetes allocates unique IP address for each and every pod and a DNS name to this service or network service. With the help of this IP addresses of the pods and DNS name allocated to the service, Kubernetes gets a control over the network and thereafter can perform load balancing across them. This is how guys Kubernetes can perform load balancing. So hope guys you got the answer for the question I have raised at the beginning of this session. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.